John Allen, a former president of the CBI, which has obviously been engulfed in uh, allegations of sexual misconduct that uh, led to the uh, departure of its former director general, Tony Danker, last month. Uh, on the back of that, all of those allegations uh, came in the Guardian newspaper, which uh, subsequently reported that allegations had been made against John Allen. Now, he's the chairman of Tesco, very, very experienced uh, UK businessman, uh, worked in the logistics industry for a long period of time, very much a respected figure in the industry, uh, in, in, in business more generally. And uh, Tesco uh, says that uh, when these allegations came to light, it looked into them uh, very, very seriously. It makes clear in this statement that three of these allegations are vigorously denied by John Allen. For the other, he unreservedly apologised for the comment he made. Now, that was uh, fairly comprehensively reported in The Guardian at the time, uh, which uh, was a suggestion that uh, at a CBI event, he complimented a female employee on what she was wearing. And said that dress really suits your figure and uh, that is the uh, incident that uh, he has acknowledged took place and as I say he and Tesco making clear that he's unreservedly apologised for that and for any uh, offence that he caused. Uh, the other three allegations as I say he categorically denied. Tesco has looked into them. Uh, one of them related to the Tesco annual general meeting in 2022. Tesco uh, instigated an investigation by its lawyers. It called for employees to come forward would ask for uh, anyone who had any evidence of that. It also studied uh, video footage of the meeting and uh, Tesco has uh, basically said that the scope of uh, that review has been considered by external legal counsel. They advise that uh, what they did was reasonable and appropriate in the circumstances and that it's identified no evidence against John Allen for any inappropriate behaviour on that particular occasion. However, what the company has gone on to say is that, as you just uh, said, Bell, in the introduction there, uh, John Allen, uh, these allegations surrounding him were risking becoming something of a distraction to the company. It's worth pointing out that John Allen has been chairman of Tesco since 2015 and under normal corporate governance rules, you would expect him to have uh, stood down before he reached the 10th anniversary of joining the board and that uh, in any case, uh, the hunt was well underway for his successor. So he's stepping down early uh, with, uh, as I say, a search for his successor being well in train to avoid any further uh, distractions for the company. Now, he's going to be replaced on an interim basis by Byron Grote. Uh, Byron Grote is a very experienced oil industry executive, spent many, many years in the top echelons of BP. It clear, it's clear from uh, this statement he's only going to be there on an interim basis while uh, they seek to appoint a permanent successor as chairman for John Allen. He's going on the 16th of June, which is when Tesco's annual meeting takes place, which I think is quite significant in itself, because I think if Tesco were really, really concerned about this, they would have asked him to step down straight away, and that hasn't happened. I mean, stock market criminologists on these sort of occasions, we like to look through the uh, statements, and some will draw attention to the fact that there isn't a comment from John Allen in this stock exchange announcement that's gone out from Tesco this afternoon. I wouldn't read too much into that necessarily on the basis that he is going to be around for another month or so.